All right. I was able to make Siffy faster, and we're also going to do a little bit of live arena just to uh, mess with her a little bit. Now, because of Pinpoint, I was able to get the 10% boost to speed, bringing her over 400 speed finally. So big shout out to Pinpoint Gear. <laughs> it's already gone. Some people are saying and speculating that it'll probably come back as a forge pass. It would be nice, but um, I don't like paying Polarium. So there's that. Uh, feral sets are also kind of a. I don't know. Do you like do you like feral or pinpoint more? Right, you get forty percent or forty accuracy points here and here. With two pieces, you only get five percent. It's something better than nothing. But yeah, pinpoint was great. If you could have uh, scrapped up a few pieces, at least the jewelry pieces from like the the ring and the amulet or something like that, you totally could have boosted your your speed which is always going to be a good thing pretty much all around right you, you never go wrong with having more speed i don't think i could boost up my arbiter uh, i didn't farm it enough on this account here but arbiter or with siffy siffy is now over 400 finally 405 um arbiter could probably get there i need two more points of speed i'm not really sure where i'm going to be able to get it this is already kind of maxed so close to mat or that's maxed I guess I could bang out an aider there, bang out an aider here if I could land it, bang out an aider there. But as far as Arbiter goes, I don't think I could... Let's see if we can land an eight. Oh, see? They're so expensive, too. And there you go. <laughs> My two potential chances shot. Now, going back to Siffy, I keep getting distracted. Yeah, so um, Siffy's faster now, basically. And um, it's awesome. I'm happy to have a 400 plus uh, champion when it comes to speed finally. And I just wanted to do a little bit of live arena just because I'm in the mood. And I figured why not? Why not put some, uh, put some, uh, what do you call it? Time to take Siffy out. Let's take Siffy out on a date and I love my wife. But we're going to take Siffy out tonight and we're going to go up against the um, Caballeros del Sol or Israel. Israel. So we're obviously going to start off with Siffy. And I usually pick the same same things here, right? For me, it's a Siffy Rodos, RB, and um, a, a Flex Champion, or Makage, and, and um, Harima. That's usually my pick. Let's just bring in, uh, what do you call it, Rodos there. He's over here waiting for me to choose. So with Siffy and Rodos being together, it's let me let me bring these guys together actually. Let me bring um let's do this. Let's bring Thor and Armands. He'll probably ban Armands. We're gonna keep Frolny there. I'll let him I'll let him keep his Frolny. We're gonna take away um Mithrala. Really annoying. Which leaves us with our um Siffy Rodos combo. But yeah, my, my usual combo is Mikage, Harima, or Shuzen, and Georgid, and Siffy and Rodos, and then Arbiter with some other flex spot. You know, it kind of just depends. We're obviously going to go fast, because look look how fast we're going. Uh, he is only level 97, but Siffy goes first, leads into Arbiter, and with that, we're able to go ahead and start putting the smack down on everybody. So... Looks like Elva was a bit, was able to uh, survive it, but that's why we have Thor to clean up. So that was an easy fight, you know, just naturally outclassed. Not his fault. Just, it is what it is. Ching, chin, chingus? 777. Seven, seven. So he is a higher level. Okay, so he got Arbiter first. Let's bring Siffy Rodos. And then we're probably going to try to do... I'm feeling I'm feeling um Shuzen and Georgia this time around. That's what I'm feeling like. We can make it real complicated for him. Either pick Armands or Warlord. Those two often get get um what do you call it? Actually, because he's bringing Hege no we'll let yeah because he's bringing Hegemon in, we're gonna bring Warlord in. And let's get rid of I hate bomb teams. And the reason we're bringing... Oh, so he banned Siffy. The reason we're bringing in Warlord is because he is in stone skin, so he's usually fine, and then decreasing turn meter and putting their skills on cooldown is uh, very helpful. 
And he's going to go first, but we're going to be fine. We'll, we'll figure this out together. Now, because Shu Zen is locked out, we can't do anything there, but we're going to lock out Thor. I don't know how long that's going to be able to, uh, you know, keep us nice and safe. It doesn't look like it. It was just bad all, all together on my end. Let's push back turn meter. Let's get rid of Thor there. I, uh, we have decreased attack. We've got decreased attack on Thor, so never mind. Very nice. And we got the fear procced on us. Bad picks. Bad picks on, on my end. It just... You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, no, we're not going to waste anybody's time here. He he won that fair and square. I, I made a... I don't know where I went wrong. Tuconic. I think that last fight was just straight up. I lost the speed fight, the speed round. And I think that's why I often choose Siffy and Arbiter together. Just so that in the very off chance, I, I'm going to win a speed race. I also bring Shuzen in often. Like, there's there's different ways I go about this depending on how I feel. So, like, if I feel like, okay, they're going to try and go fast, then I'm going to bring in Shuzen and Arbiter at the same time. Let's bring in Georgia. And then depending on who he picks, I'll either choose Rodos or Harima this time around. Actually, you know who I'm really enjoying lately? Oh, okay. So we ha he's got um Heffy Hef. He's got Hef Rack. You know what? I think I think we're gonna bring in an E3 Blood Twin. I, I feel like let's get rid of um let's get rid of Hefrak. I feel like an E3 doesn't get enough love. Or maybe he does, but I don't hear enough people talk about him. He's been awesome for me in Live Arena for as long as I can remember. The block revive is just insane. So, for example, like this this um, Wukong issue that we have going on here, right? Well, we, we put this in Ethwee to work here by um, hitting... hitting. Oh, never mind. We don't hit hard enough. I got to rework in Ethwee. I was about to talk so, so well about him. That's fine. Let's get rid of... Um, Oh, we don't have increased attack. This is just not going my way. This is not going my way. I... Oh my god. Wow. So many bad plays by me. By yours truly, so many bad plays. Oh my god. What am I even doing anymore? What, what's, what is this? Burrito. Come on, man. You know better. If Armand's pops off, then it's a wrap, pretty much, with his A2. There you go. Yeah, fucking hell, dude. Jesus Christ. I think what it is, is that I'm, I'm just not thinking. I'll come up with any excuse. All right, let's try this one. Siffy... Shoes in. Armands. Yeah, let's do shoes in. And let's bring Arbiter in. I need to take another look at Anithui. He's in stone skin, but I don't know if he's hitting hard enough. I gotta rework him. Like, sometimes he hits hard enough, but then other times he's he's kind of... Like, his A3 doesn't hit hard, but his A2... I should have done the A2. That's what I should have done. Let's bring Makage and Harima. Let's, let's show some um, Makage Harima. Oh, wait, what the... <laughs> Shuzen, dude. What am I doing with Shuzen? All right. His only damage dealer would have been Trenda, but Armand's is just annoying. I'm surprised he didn't ban my only damage dealer here. I brought four supports. And we all do it. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. It's common. I made like two back-to-back -back mistakes in the last two fights. So... You know, it, it happens. It happens. Lifesteal. Does anybody use Lifesteal anymore? Because um, I don't think anybody uses Lifesteal anymore. At least in Endgame. So let's do this. We're going to bring Harima in. And we're going to just hit the A3. Don't even try to chance it. Sometimes I'm just like, well, maybe I could, maybe I can like spare a move if I just hit the A2 or something. But, but no.
And by spare move, I'm like, okay, well, maybe I can get a free AoE hit first from the get-go with the A2 with Harima. But no, that's that's not happening. Just like um, run, it's the Germans. Oh my god, what the heck? Just like trying to get an A in math. It's just not happening. Okay. Let's see if we can change it up a bit. So, Sifirotos. Who else can we bring in for damage dealers? You know, I um, I actually like Iron Gut quite a bit. I don't use him in Arena, but I, I feel like I should. So let's bring Siffy in, and we're going to bring Arbiter in. And let's bring in Iron Gut. Just, I'm ch trying to mess around with champions I don't really use in Live Arena, because I'm just kind of in the mood for it. Tormund's built with some damage in him. Not not the best currently, but, you know. Staltist is, um, is a good one. I pulled him, and then I just, I just didn't touch him. He's probably like, bro, you were so happy to get me. I'm like, sorry, dude. You know what? Annie. Little Miss Annie. There you go. That's the one. Little Miss Annie is, is going to get some screen time this time. All right, dude. Uh, the other thing I like about Siffy Rotos is that if any debuffs go on Rotos, as long as they're together, the debuffs come right off of Rotos. Why is this guy taking so long? Does he not know or uh, what he's going to do? Or what, what are you doing, dude? Come on. I think Leo would be pretty cool too. Trunda? No, we said Iron Gut. All right, dude. Pick pick your champions. They really need to fix this. This whole waiting one minute thing. 30 seconds per champion. It's ridiculous. It doesn't really feel like Live Arena. It feels like let's, you know, spend five, ten minutes waiting for each other to make a move. Live Arena should feel a little bit more lively, right? You ever play chess? Or like, you ever see professionals play chess, but they have that timer there? Or people who are like really into chess, they have that that timer that they click, and then that, that sends the timer uh, going. Uh, unlike this asshole here, who's just taking up his time. You know what? We can both play that game. We'll, we'll both play it. Let's both do it. I'm going to bring in UDK. I'm just going to com complete stall. Since he wants to be like this. That's a good choice. Or I can keep him stunned the entire time. Let's do that. Let's just stun him. Let's just keep him stunned the entire time. Because we have Sleep with Siffy on the A1. After 50% um, turn meter, her A1 is irresistible. Sleep. So, sleep, 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 sleep. And then Makage with the A2. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna we're gonna go first, and then we're gonna stun. We're gonna sleep. He's not gonna take any turns, and we're gonna okay. Well, well we're not doing the Siffy thing this time, even though this was this was meant to be for Siffy. So since he wants to take his time with the timers and everything, uh, we're gonna do the same thing here. Uh, feel free to skip ahead at this point because this is just me being petty, and. Um, it just it is what it is. It's something that I do. If you're new here, I'm petty as fuck. And so if this guy's gonna be an asshole like that, I'm gonna be like it too. We can both play this game. And I'm pretty sure my arbiter is going to outspeed them. I'm gonna roll into Mikage, hit the A2, keep them stunned, and he's gonna watch. He's gonna watch. Oh shit, there's a stone skin. Well, there goes that plan. Anyway, let's do this. And then let's try to remove the stone skin. Gets resisted. How do you resist? How do you resist? How do you resist? All right, fuck it. Let's start killing. Boom. Taurus, chill. This isn't you. Can we get provoke up? Can we get provoked up? We can get the res up too, right? With res, it's good. Res is good. The res is good. Okay. And um, yeah, let's hit this. How good could his speed and accuracy be is if he's in um stone skin? Wait, oh crap, I forgot my plan was to make his make the timer run out for him. I forgot that was the move. That's the move here. So 
So awesome, dude. So awesome. Start trying to like bang this out. Bang the uh, stone skin. Unless he just hits the A2. Does anybody hate Armands yet? Am I the only one that hates Armands? I can't be the only one. <sighs> Charned Bond, dude. Come on, dude. There it is. Come on, do your fucking A1 already. I keep forgetting I'm supposed to use up the, the, the turn meter. It's a whiskey night tonight. It's probably why I'm not thinking straight. I think Mikage sleeps under A1. Yeah. Sleep for one turn. We'll sleep Armand's. We should kill him. Oh, the resist is too much. Okay. Well, shit. Why does he have so much resist? I don't think I've ever come across an Armand with so much resist. There goes my plans. I don't know why people come into Live Arena literally with this in mind, that they're going to waste people's time. Look at that resist, bro. What the fuck is that? Oh, see, now that he knows that I'm playing playing the game, he doesn't want to play the game anymore. You see that? He started immediately attacking. Nah, fuck that. You're going to watch. You guys saw that, right? He he threw his... um. It was either that or he just stepped away from his phone because I know that, that they have a... It goes on auto after, after being AFK for a while. So it could be that. But either way, in case he's sitting there watching. <sighs> and Polarium wonders why, uh, you know, some of the people have complaints about Live Arena. Well, this is one of them. All right, I think we, I think I, I got my point across. Let's just end this already. And his Wukong was about to come back too, so. What's your name again? From KKFC? Charnabon? Fuck you. In fact, I'm going to put you on the thumbnail. Black Rain, thank you for stepping up. Lionheart. I don't know why I like saying their names, the clan, the clan names. I, I don't know. All right. Oh, I said I was going to bring Annie in. Let's bring Annie in. And we're going to bring in Anithui. We're going to check his damage again. That was crazy because when I tried to hit the A3 with his... With his, um... With Anithui, he already had increased attack. He had increased crit damage with Shu Zen. And he still didn't one-shot them. So this Anithui build needs, needs some work, I think. But then at the same time, he's in Stone Skin. It's kind of hard to build them really well in Stone Skin. And, um... You, you, you kind of want them that way. So let's bring these guys in, and then we're going to bring in Tormin. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no, that's that's fine. Tormin. I was going to say I only have one damage dealer, but I forgot they're both next to each other. All right, so let's do this. Let's get rid of um, Alaz or Freya. or Let's get rid of Duchess. I don't know, uh, I'm not too sure what Freya does, and I'm not too sure what, what Alaz does, but this is a good chance for me to have have the opportunity. It's, it's a good chance to, to, to figure it out. Wait, doesn't Freya have a cleanse or a block debuff or something like that? Okay, so let's give this to you, and let's, let's just hit, let's hit Wukong. Take him out of the fight. Now, if she speeds up, 
Tormund is going to have a good chance to freeze. So we freeze Freya. Yashir is actually pretty annoying because she's just really fast. Oh, that's what he does. That's cool. That's very cool. Oh, he resisted. Damn. Well, there goes that plan. Because Tormund's A2 uh, does a... I think it's a steal. All right, so who are you going to sleep? Oh, okay, you tried that. Let's boost our speed. There's no point in trying to kill any... Oh, wait, we can try to kill Yastrid. All right, so we one-shot that, but at the same time, he's a level 81. And if I lose to an 81, dear God. Which, you know, has happened before. I've, I've lost to quite a few uh, lower-level players before. All right, what are you doing, dude? Why are you taking so long? This is, see, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. It takes forever. People take forever. And nothing we can do there except hit. Like that. There goes Annie. Fuck. Well, there goes that. Not my best, uh, not my best live arena. All right, next one. All right, Siffy, come back. And I know what some of you guys are going to say, like, oh, you should be picking Armand's first. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't, I don't feel like it. Well, then that's why you're losing. Yeah, you're right, dude. Good job. All right. Come on, dude. Fucking hurry up. Fuck. What what is this? Why is he taking so long? Did you go to the bathroom? Are you pouring yourself a cup of coffee? I'm going to ban Marius. It's an auto ban right there. I'm bringing Harima in. Oh, shit. He he put in Harima. All right. Well, then we're going to have to take in uh, Georgia and Shuzan then. That plus one, dude. He's got a plus one UDK. And it's got a high blessing. I might have to ban UDK. That might be the move. Hopefully he doesn't ban Georgid, but he's I think he's liable to, to ban Georgid. We'll see. I have to ban UDK. That's that's what we gotta do. He's got Carnage? Oh dude, fuck me. I've actually never fought Carnage before. So this will be interesting to see my cheeks get clapped. Come on, Doom. Pick your ban or, or pick your whoever your lead is. Pick your pick. Dude, just pick. Oh, my God. Okay. So we're going to go with, yeah, Siffy first. That Siffy or that uh, Duchess is, is well blessed. Um, okay, so what we can do here is boost. That's a fast um, Duchess there. Uh, let's. Well, I mean, we we have to get rid of Marius. Does Carnage hit hard? I've never fought Carnage before. I wouldn't know. Did not revive. Okay. Get rid of Duchess 
and try to smack. Oh, okay. I didn't get to see what Carnage did that time. And that would have been um that would have been fun to see what Carnage would have done. Musketeer. All right, Siffy. Some of these guys that I go up against, I'm just like, dude. Seeing their accounts makes me hate my account sometimes. I'm like, damn. You got some crazy ass champions in your account. And all these new champions, I'm just like, dude, I don't even know. I don't even know what all these champions do nowadays. Like somebody hit me up and they were just like, oh, um, do you know about the um, this this new champion? It was in one of my other con a uh, cow Caudico or something like that. Um, it just came out. Just came out, and I was just like, I I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. So that that happened, and I was just like, shit. I wish I could have helped more, but I I just don't know what this champion does. Uh, he's basically an Armand's counter, so that, like he um gives himself an extra turn and places block buffs, which is pretty cool. All right. So I don't have to worry too much about Gaius right now because we have um block buffs up. We do have to worry about Sun Wukong. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit through you first. And then we're going to do that. That way we don't have to worry about Wukong uh, removing our block debuffs. We're just going to focus on, on that right now. All right. Never mind. I guess we were going too fast that guys was able to do his thing. Or is going to be able to do his thing. At least on Georgia and and Arbiter. But it looks like RB resisted. We're going to hit the A1 on Wukong. We're going to try to get rid of... What's her face? Uh, Mithrala. Put Mithrala to sleep. Get rid of Gaius. Cheeks. Clapped. Skadoosh. There you go. All right, two more fights left. Two more fights left. I really want the um, the new frame that they have for Live Arena. I, I didn't want to continue doing Live Arena, but... One, I have to do it on this account because of the Marius missions. I didn't want to double-team the Marius missions at the same time. I felt like that was too much. And, oh, this guy again. And then the other thing is, um, they uh, re they put a new frame there for us to get, so that looks like something I, I might want. I should have picked Armand's. It's gonna pick the same thing, probably. We can pick um, Warlord, see if he t if he um, does that. Because if I can pick Warlord, I can put their skills on cooldown. So that could be a a good thing to do. Got Makage, that's fine. There you go. Oh, he didn't bring Gaius in. He brought in Makage, which is fine. He left um, Siffy up. He let me keep my Siffy. So we're going to do this. Buff removal is going to be an issue there. But let's give this to you. And um, I know his A3 is the hardest hitting one. So we're going to hit um, Hefrak. We're going to hit Hefrak. That way we can uh, make sure he doesn't do his uh, big ability. His self-buff and then his AoE nuke. Can't let that happen. And we're going to boost ourselves here. If it'll load. Hello? Okay. And we're going to save this in case Makage takes her turn. Yeah. Makage is probably going to take a turn. We're going to get rid of Hefrak for sure. We're going to put Wukong's skills... Oh, what the heck was that? Removed? How did it get removed? That was weird.
A2? We have res. We got res lead, so we might be okay. Okay, but that's that's why we uh we saved it. We saved it for that, in case that Makage was going to do that. We're going to uh, put you to sleep. Going to give this to Rodos. Going to uh, hit Makage. The nice thing, again, like I said about having them both here, Sippy and Rodos, uh, I love my wife, is that any debuffs on him get removed. Let's boost our turn meter. And let's keep the skills blocked on you. We're going to hit Mithrala. And then swipe at Makage. And then we call that a day. There you go. It was a good fight. Like, I, that could have gone either way, to be honest. But as you can see, a lot of fights are speed speed meta like a lot of people say like oh speed meta is not the thing anymore or or, or whatever you want to say but it's just like I, I feel like the speed meta never really left personally I, I feel like it's always there it's always been there like if you can go first you almost always win unless you're just making dumb decisions like i i've been you know what i mean you know who i want to try building out i think uh it would be cool for me to try out um harvest jack so like Harvest Jack was a was a character that came out um for one of the Halloween um fusions a while back. And I never actually built him. I never got around to building him or doing anything with him. That would have been cool. I mean it should be cool. I, you know, actually it might be a good good time to to do it now ish. Just because it's it's Halloween. No time like the present, all right? Is it Halloween? When's Halloween? Is it the 30th or the 31st? Does anybody know the true story behind Halloween? Huh? Any of you? And by that, I mean the origins of Halloween. I know it had to do something religious. I, I heard it a while ago. I, I completely forgot what it was, though. So we have Lord Shazar, who's got a nice, fat 32% speed aura. But I'm not too worried about him. And then, of course, we just, we just have to ban our mons. Now, Siffy is the faster one here. And ideally, we should have gotten rid of um, Siffy here. Because now we're able to prevent block buffs from Loki. Um, just a bunch of things. We don't have to worry about the bombs now. We can get rid of Quintus or we can get rid of Thor. I actually feel like getting rid of Thor. It would have been nice to do um, Makage A2 stun all around. But I um, can't come up with an excuse as to why I completely forgot to do that right now. Mr. Mech, please do something. There you go. Yeah, that misstep. Misstep is a pretty nice, neat ability. 